What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my September Q&A. Uh, this is something I've been doing each month this year, and everything where I uh, ask you all to give me some questions and stuff for me to answer. Uh, and I've been doing them on the last Friday of each month as as much as I can anyway. There's been a few months I haven't, but uh, I always do them at the end of each month. So uh, and today's the last Friday of September. It's hard to believe how fast this month has flown by. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get into it because I want to make this video as short as possible. So uh, starting out is Doyle, also known as the Big D from Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. And uh, he gave me some pretty good questions. First is, what do you think of the trailer for the Hawkeye series that's coming to Disney Plus? I, th I think it looks awesome. I, I can't wait to see it. Hawkeye's never really been one of my favorite characters and stuff but I'm really looking forward to the show and everything I, I've gotten to where I like him a lot more though as the movies progressed and everything and I love to see how uh, this show plays into the aftermath of his character arc in Endgame so I'm really looking forward to see what they do with it um, next is have you checked out Doogie Kamiola MD on Disney Plus. I haven't yet. Uh, I love Doogie Howser. I haven't watched it in a long time, but I used to watch it a lot uh, during the mornings and stuff before my mom would go to dialysis and stuff. It would be on TV. So I, I would sit in there and watch it while we were waiting to get ready and stuff. And I, I love that show and everything. I, I'm thinking about checking it out on Disney Plus. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm thinking about giving it a shot. I might actually watch it here after a while. And would you ever consider giving the original He-Man and the Masters of the Universe series a try? It was one of my favorite tunes from the 80s. Yeah, I, I'd give it a try. I uh, may have to try to find it. I don't know if it's on any of the streaming services or, says, or if it's on DVD. Um, but I'm sure it's on DVD at least. Uh, I'm eventually, I'd like to try to get it and watch it and give it a shot. I also want to get the 2002 version as well because that's the one that I grew up with. But yeah, I'd, I'd be willing to give the 80s one a shot. Um, but anyway, that's all the questions from Big D. So thank you, Big D, for the questions. Uh, next, or from mi my ex-girlfriend, Miss Sour Egg. Um, first one is, do you think Kristen Stewart will get an Oscar nomination for Spencer? It's hard to say. It, the trailer looks really great. If if her performance is as great in the movie as it looks like it's going to be in the trailer, then I think she could get a nomination. And she put, what is a show you would like to see get a revival or reunion special? Um, uh, most of the shows that I've wanted to see get a revival and stuff have ac actually already happened. Like, as a kid, I always wanted them to bring back Full House when we got Fuller House. And even though it's not as good as Full House, I think that show's all right. And then, of course, with Roseanne and, and everything, we got that and the Connors. So those are the main shows that I wanted to see brought back in. The other one is Saved by the Bell, and that got brought back. So uh, I wanted to see them bring back Rugrats, but uh, I've only watched a little bit of that re that that one hit. One hit near as good as it could have been, um, at least from what I've seen. Uh, I need to give it a more fair chance sometime. But uh, I think if there's any shows that I'd like to see them bring back... Um, there's two uh, that I wouldn't mind seeing, at least a reunion or some kind of thing. First one would be Seventh Heaven, which is one of my favorite shows of all time. And everything I know that probably ain't going to happen because of the controversy with Stephen Collins and stuff. And if it, if they have to, they could work around it and write him out of it and everything. I mean, I, I loved his character and stuff, and I'd hate to see them take him off there, but... If they had to do it, I, I can understand why they would and stuff. Because I'm guessing they'd have to have kids on there and nobody's going to want their kids around him. So, I mean, it's it, it makes sense and stuff. But, yeah, I'd, I'd have to say Seventh Heaven is a show I'd like to see a reunion. I mean, because he wasn't the only good cast member. There were a lot of great cast members I'd love to see together again and everything. And uh, But that show, and um, I wouldn't mind seeing like some kind of revival of that 70s show maybe make it where the characters have the, their own kids and have it set in the 90s have it be that 90s show or something 
that'd be really cool and stuff too or or that 2000 show or something where it's set in the time period where I was growing up watching that 70s show I think that'd be pretty awesome uh, but those are those are the main two that I could think of and, I, and everything I, I know we're getting a fresh Prince of Bel Air reboot but it's not going to be like a revival it's going to be pretty much like a reboot where it's made more it's a drama and stuff I don't, I don't know how to feel about that I haven't watched anything on that yet so I, I don't know on that but those are the main two seventh heaven and and that 70 show are the main two that i'd like to see at least something with the characters reuniting if it's not a naughty if it's not a show maybe at least a reunion special or something <laughs> um next is from big willie damon he put why does my dad chew with his mouth close sir I don't with his mouth closer I think he meant with his mouth closed it's with his mouth closed it's because that's probably the best way to do it nobody wants to nobody likes to see that kind of seafood um if it's if he's just like getting closer into your face while he chews that's kind of weird um next is how come there's a guy in the shower every time I go in the bathroom I have no idea he said his name is Dees. Do you know who Dees is? I don't know, but he sounds nuts because Dees nuts. No. Next is Beware the Nightman. Okay, I don't know who the Nightman is, but okay. And put, when is the right time to tell God that I don't like Snickers? Well, probably, probably whenever. I mean, I'll give you the will to not eat them if you feel like you're having to eat them, I guess. What's the best movie to watch when you're sad? Uh, probably, I, I always watch Wizard of Oz a lot of times. If, if I'm really having a hard day and stuff, that's a movie I usually always watch. Because that's my favorite movie of all time. So I'd have to say The Wizard of Oz. It was in my ranking of uh, favorite feel-good movies. Um, next are from my friend Crystal Gordon. Uh, she put, well, you do a video ranking the main characters of Full House. You can do it with just Full House characters or with Fuller House characters. It's up to you. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. That's actually going to be a pretty fun video to do. Everything. I, I've actually kind of thought about doing a video where I, like, at least did my top five favorite characters. But yeah, I could do it with all the main characters of at least Full House. I don't know about Fuller House yet because I haven't really gotten far enough into it to really know how much I like the, those characters and everything. I might just have to do two separate videos for both of those. Um, next is from Kenny Havoc. Um, you put currently writing my new song, Are You Hyped? Oh, heck yeah, I liked your first song. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Um, when am I going to get, or when I am able to get more time, I def want to do another collab okay cool that sounds great is there any ideas you got uh i'm not sure yet uh i know we talked about doing spongebob sequels i don't really know that we have to do those uh, maybe maybe there's a top 10 list you want to do or something uh, we, we can figure it out and he put have you seen my to catch a predator sketches and if so which is your favorite i haven't watched it yet um I'll try to watch them here pretty soon. I've just been real busy with work and hadn't got around to it. Um, next is from Douglas Found a Lump. Uh, I'm a fashion designer and I'm a bit of a in a bit of a slump. I haven't been able to come up with new ideas as I'm in, in an environment that doesn't help my creative concentration. It was recommended to me that I spend a few days in the wilderness and camp out there in order to get new ideas and help me focus where would you recommend me making my concentration camp okay that that kind of sounds really jacked up but uh, I don't know I guess go to a place where you know it's safe and stuff I don't really have a certain idea um, but yeah, I, I just try to find somewhere where you know it's safe and you can do your thinking. 
Next is from the Bowling Turkey, Crispin Flavius. I hope I said that right. Uh, first question is, do you like bowling? Uh, yeah, I like to bowl. I, I haven't really been in a long time, but I, I always enjoy it when I do go. Have you ever gone bowling with a hamster instead of a ball? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, I'm sure it would be pretty fun, but no, I haven't. Uh, I hate my parent so much. Oh my god. Okay, well, you say that now, but one day you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna wish you didn't say that. And what's your favorite tree? Uh, I don't know. I don't really have a particular favorite tree. I guess maybe, maybe a, a sycamore. I don't know. I only said that because that's the first one that popped in my head. I really don't have a particular favorite. Um, next is Joseph's dad hit him with a shovel. The first question is, does the shovel is what? Okay, I have no idea what that, that means. And if I was Godzilla, I would have had a stroke trying to read that. What's your favorite movie you ever watched while eating Jello? Uh, Empire Strikes Back. I actually was eating Jello when I watched it one time uh, after I had my wisdom teeth taken out. Do you think Chris Rock eats Taliban chocolate? I have no idea. Do you think Chris Rock eats hard boiled eggs covered in mayonnaise, salt, and dropped on the floor? Uh, probably not, but I mean, he made grown ups too, so we know he, he doesn't make the best decisions sometimes. Are you ready for Green Goblin in the new Spider Man? Heck yeah, I am. I'm really hoping they go with Willem Dafoe. It really hints around, and there's been a lot of hints that it's going to be him and everything. If it's not, I'm going to be shocked, but I'm still looking forward to seeing him no matter what. Next is from Mario Spaceman. Uh, room tour. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll do that sometime. I, like I said, I'm still trying to get things straightened up in my room before I do a room tour. Plus, my room's really not that big, and it's going to be kind of hard to do it, but I will do it at some point. Um, is it okay that I live with my ex, live in my ex girlfriend's attic? Uh, mm, well, I, I don't know if if she's okay with it. I guess it's fine. She then he put follow up. Should I let my ex girlfriend know I'm living in her attic? Uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, you probably should, cause she probably is gonna freak out if she hears you moving around. Everything. Next is the nightman is behind you. Okay, I don't see him, but okay. What is what flavor is the sun? I don't know, I'm, but I'm guessing it probably. Be, be pretty hot. Have you ever kissed a bald man's head? Uh, no, I haven't. Next is from Benita Clark. Hello, handsome. I do have some questions. What is a movie? A uh, movie is uh, uh, like a, it's like pictures with people moving around on them. Uh, that's the best way I know how to describe it. Uh, what's the highest age you would date? Uh, let's see, I'm 29 now. I'd probably go maybe 45 at the most. I don't know. I mean, uh, if I really am attracted to someone, I don't really care as far as that goes, really. Do you ride a bike? Nah, not really. Beware of the Nightman. Okay, what is up with this Nightman thing? I'm starting to think this person is three has three different channels or something, or three different accounts. How many cats can I fit into a ten times ten room? I have no idea. I'm sure you probably fit a lot though. Next is from Blind Ham Johnson's Shack. Are you prepared to pledge your allegiance to the cause? I don't know. When you are you are afraid, 
Are you vulnerable? Probably. Are you aware of the Nightman? Well, I'm, I've heard of him because I've been. Everyone keeps mentioning him. I don't know what the Nightman is, though. Next is from James Moss. What's your favorite 80s cartoon show? Uh, I'm not sure. Not, to be honest, I, I. Oh, actually, I do know. Uh, My Little Pony. There was a My Little Pony show that was on in the 80s that I, I liked it. I think it was also on in the 90s as well, but I like I liked. I like all the versions of My Little Pony. Yeah, I think it started in the 80s and everything. Those are probably the ones that I watched the most as a kid. Next is from Ty Jensen. Have you ever seen Warrior or The Countant? Uh, actually, no, I haven't. I've been wanting to see both of them, especially The Countant. Um, next is, once again, Blind Ham, Johnson the Shack. Um, have you had a good... A uh, day of good health. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I guess so. Next is Big D Secret Admirer. You remind me of Richard Clock. Okay, I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult or a compliment because I have no idea who Richard Clock is. Uh, next is from my good buddy Lebo. Which Power Rangers series is your favorite? Um. My favorite is uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, it's the main one that I really remember. I did watch uh, a few of the other ones after it and stuff, but I don't remember them very well. But I've revisited all of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers over the... Uh, binge watched them all a couple years ago, and I still absolutely love it. I want to get caught up on some of the other ones and everything from the Zordon era, but at least... That one's my favorite. I also like Dino Thunder a lot as a kid. I don't remember it very well, though. I don't know if I still would like it as much now. Next is from Corey Phil's uh, Burning Winnie Peas. Where is the Nightman? I have no idea. What is up with this Nightman stuff? Next is another, another one from Blind Ham, John Shack. Have you entered the portal uh, not that I know of next is from Shrek Fred 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 did you like Winston I'm not sure who Winston is or, I think there's a movie called Winston if it someone I'm thinking about don't think I've seen it is Adam Pansietti sexy I have no idea And then, how many times have you seen the new Spider-Man trailer? Uh, a lot. I, I don't know how many times I've seen it, but it, I've seen it a lot. Uh, I've watched it quite a bit. Are you afraid of the Nightman? I don't know. I, I don't know who the Nightman is. These next ones are all from uh, Blind Ham Johnson Shack. The Nightman Cometh. Okay. And then put join us, join us, join us, join us, join us. I don't know what you mean by join us. And next is from Extra Crispy Darnell Flaggybrius. Do you like to do movie reviews? Well, obviously, that's what my entire channel is about, but yeah, I love doing them. Although, it does suck when you have to watch really bad ones sometimes. Uh, another one from Blind Man, or Blind Ham, Johnson Shack. Are you thirsty? Actually, I am a little bit, all this talking and stuff. It's actually kind of made me thirsty now that you mention it. Uh, next is, Corey fills a burning when he pees. How will you celebrate 300 subs? I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I, I actually just posted that video right before I did this one of what I'm going to be giving away. I'm giving away a few movies and uh, $25 in either a gift card or cash, whichever the winner prefers. Um, and uh, next is also from Extra Crispy Darnell Flag Flaggy Brius. 
Yabba dabba do. Awesome, I guess. And then he put, I'm sorry, you're sorry for what? But anyway, those were some good questions. Thank y'all for actually giving me some normal ones too. There's a lot of weird ones still, but y'all balanced it out perfectly. And let's keep that up on these Q&As. I, I don't mind answering the really silly ones and ones that don't make a lot of sense to me, but I, I do appreciate getting normal questions as well. Uh, but thank you all for watching, and I'll let y'all know here in a couple weeks when I do my uh, October q and I might do it on Halloween. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do it on Halloween or if I'm going to just stick with the doing it on the last Friday. But anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.